I traveled far for this PC. I paid a little bit too much of my own money for this PC. Why? Because it's tiny, really tiny. Smaller than an Inspiron, a speed bump to the almighty Lumbridge, and a mere ant to a full tower like the Gateway here. The irony in this case is that the Xeno is more powerful. It's so small that if it can even just beat an Xbox 360, it will be worth every penny. So get yourself a cup of tea or a beer if that's more your thing, and come along for the ride as we examine the potential of this strange little machine. The guts of a PC determine its potential, so what's inside the Xeno HD? Processing is handled by a dual-core Athlon running at 2.1GHz. For processing, it's an ATI Mobility Radeon HD4200 clocked at 203MHz. And to tie it all together, there's 4 gigs of DDR3. So without further ado, how does the Xeno perform in game? Okay, so the Xeno may not be the ultimate backpack gaming rig, but I doubt that's what it was ever about. Its original purpose was to sit under a TV and power through HD video, and for that it's perfect. It'll handle YouTube video up to 1080p at 30 frames, but cannot comfortably play 1080 video. So what's the conclusion? Is the Xeno worth its $150 price tag? Well for gaming at least, the Xbox 360 is far better, especially considering it will cost you $50 less. And if you're looking for a media center PC, the Intel Compute Stick costs around the same price and is smaller and faster. But if you can find one of these for cheap, they're absolute fun to tinker with. Even if you do, just open it up and marvel at how small it is. I'm Tim James. Thanks again for watching, and good night.